Evans was receiving an award. And I thought to myself, wow, oh, I would really like to have one of those. <laughs> and little did I know that my life would change so drastically that I would actually stand here today to say thank you to the Stonewall Bar and to this community of people who believe in equality for everyone. I am Simone Bell. I am state representative for Georgia House District 58. I am proud to be the first out African American lesbian in the country to serve in that particular capacity in any state. Thank you. Sometimes that can be very overwhelming. It's not something that I set out to do. However, it's something that came to my attention halfway through the campaign. And, um, you know, it, it is a huge responsibility, but it is one that I both appreciate and that I don't take for granted because I know that the work that I am doing serves as an inspiration to a lot of people across this country. And it really makes me think about the idea that it does get better. And I can say for myself that my life has gotten better. And I also know that unless we as an adults stand up for what is right, stand up for full equality, that unfortunately, for some people, it will not get better. So I appreciate the work that Stonewall Bar continues to do. I worked for Lambda Legal for about three years and traveled through the South fighting for the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. And doing that work as a community organizer, it became very clear to me that it's really important that we be at the table where the decisions are made about important portions of our lives. And so I was asked to run for office, and I took the challenge and I did it. And I didn't do it alone. I did it with the help of so many dear friends who sit in this room and who sit across America. We had support from all over because people believe that it is now time for us to sit at the table. When I look in this room, I think about all the allies that are here. And I just want to say that we cannot do the work that has to be done in the state of Georgia without allies. And so I appreciate our non-lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender allies. And I hope that we can continue to see our lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people in Georgia become allies to the overall work that we have to do here in Georgia. I serve in the state house with one other out elected official, Representative Carla Jenner. And the work that we do every day is very important and challenging work. And it's work that two people cannot do. We will not be able to get any positive lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender affirmative laws passed with Carla and I. We have to have our allies who are willing to stand publicly and say, that they believe in equality for all people. So I want to thank each and every one of you who are here, who believe in equality, and who in your respective positions are willing to stand for that particular equality. We are in the middle of an election cycle, and it's very challenging, and it's very complicated, and it's a little scary. I've served one half term. I'm unopposed for the second term. So I'm kind of stuck for the next two years, whether I want to be or not. But I'm happy about that, because that means... I'm happy about that, because that means that each and every one of you who stood on a corner, who made a call, who stood up for what was right, did the work that we needed to do in the special election. And then people have given us a mandate to continue to be at the State House. We have so much work to do. I'm not sure how much we can do on a proactive level, but I know that if we continue to work with our allies, that we can definitely stop bad legislation that will prove to show its ugly head in this next session. One thing that's important to me is that we not be single issue people. The only way that we're gonna create the allies that we need to help us fight for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender rights 
is for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people to show up in other movements as out lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender individuals proud to be who we are. I am proud to walk into the legislature every day. Sometimes I ride my motorcycle. I do that when I need just a little bit of extra room. <laughs> I do walk into the chamber with my helmet on. I do purposefully do that and take my helmet off in the chamber. I take my leathers off in the chamber. I reapply my lipstick in the chamber because I want people to know all of who I am. I am not now, nor have I ever been ashamed to be who I am. I am so, so excited. I'm so, so excited to receive this award from a group of people who I've always held in high esteem for being smart, for being courageous, and for being exactly who you were created to be. Thank you so much for your continued support, and I look forward to continuing to serve the state of Georgia in the Georgia General Assembly. I wish you all peace, and I wish you love.